We give tours over to Arlington National Cemetery. When you fly into Washington, D.C., as one of my friends, the governor of Florida, Governor DeSantis, likes to point out, as a man who wore the uniform, as a man who served his country, when he flies into a Washington Reagan, DCA, and you fly along the Potomac and you look to your left, he says in stories, you see the monuments, you see the Washington Monument, you see the Lincoln Memorial, you see the Jefferson Memorial, you see this Capitol building sitting up on the hill as a symbol for freedom and what a republic looks like for the world to understand and see. But on your right, when you're flying down that river, you see a whole bunch of other monuments, but they're a lot smaller. They're little stones of marble that are cut out to represent all of those who died so that we could be here, who died so that we could live free, who died so that we could stand under that flag. And we're pissing it away. We're giving it away. All that they fought for, all of those freedoms, we are giving it away. Why? Because we're too cowardly to stand up and do our job. Oh, no, a shutdown. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, we can't have a shutdown heading into Thanksgiving. What will they say or do? How about we stand up and fight and go to the American people and tell them that we believe we should be doing what they sent us here to do? Limiting spending, securing the border of the United States, standing with Israel, but paying for this stuff as we go so our kids and our grandkids don't inherit a bankrupted country and they don't have to wonder what freedom used to look like while they're speaking Mandarin. But that's what we're going to get. We went through an entire month of drama about a speaker. And we just did the same damn thing we've been doing. The people I represent are sick and tired of it. People say, well, Chip, why do you get so animated on the floor? Because somebody has to stand up for the people whose voices want to be heard in this town. If I see another bill, another measure, another amendment, another office focused on diversity, equity, inclusion, focused on all of these nonsensical programs that we can't even afford, much less if they're good for the United States of America, rather than figuring out how to have bullets and planes and boats to stand up and defend this country and defend freedom, rather than standing up and securing our border and giving the Border Patrol what they need, rather than making them show up to the border every day outmanned, outgunned, and with a mission to usher people into the United States falsely under the name of compassion, using false interpretations of the law, expansive uses of asylum and parole, to allow terrorists and criminals to come into the United States and endanger the American people. The police officer in Austin, Texas, that I went to the vigil for on Sunday night, he was killed by somebody on the terrorist watch list. What in the hell is wrong with this country? Are we not sovereign? Do we not believe that we should secure this country for the people of the United States? If this body were serious, we wouldn't leave town without ensuring that we're secure. We would not leave town without forcing Chuck Schumer and Joe Biden to the table because Republicans control this chamber, or at least they say they're Republicans. For the life of me, I do not understand how you can go to the trouble of campaigning, raising money, going to events, talking to people, coming to this town, as a member of a party who allegedly stands for something, allegedly stands for reducing spending, allegedly stands for eliminating debt, securing the border, strong military, ending the wokeness that is killing and corrupting our schools and our kids, and then do nothing about it. One thing, I want my Republican colleagues to give me one thing one that I can go campaign on and say we did. One. Anybody sitting in the complex, if you want to come down to the floor and come explain to me one material, meaningful, significant thing the Republican majority has done besides, well, I guess it's not as bad as the Democrats. Because that reminds me of the line from Patton when he said, well, you won't have to say, well, I was shoveling crap in Louisiana. Because that's what we're doing. No offense to my friends from Louisiana. My mom grew up in Louisiana. 